KALB. This is a First Alert Storm Center update. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us on this Wednesday night. You'll see right now here on First Alert Satellite Radar, really not looking at a lot. We have some cloud cover off to our east and more cloud cover is going to start working its way into central Louisiana. You can already see some pockets of cloud cover there entering portions of Natchitoches Parish. We'll even see some patchy fog going into tomorrow morning. Temperatures right now though looking pretty good here at the Alexandria Airport. We're nearing 74 degrees with those light southeasterly winds really can't complain, especially after all that wet weather that we've had over the past week or so. Temperatures right now are pretty uniform still across the board. We're looking at those low to mid 70s area wide, and we're going to continue to kind of see that trend going through the rest of the overnight hours. We'll start off tomorrow morning with temperatures uh, very similar. They're nearing 70 degrees here in Alexandria and central portions of central Louisiana. Once that sun comes out tomorrow, we're going to really see those temperatures ramp up pretty quickly. Now, here's that first alert to that patchy fog tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning, about 5, 6 a.m. Some areas could see visibilities reduced to below one mile. The rest of us seeing those visibilities between two and four miles. So you will want to give yourself a little bit of extra time as you head out the door tomorrow morning and exercise caution. Give yourself a little bit of extra distance between uh, the vehicle in front of you and the road. Then things clear out, but we have another chance of saying some patchy fog once again Friday morning, maybe even Saturday morning, where visibilities once again could be reduced. So we'll definitely give you those updates as they become available, but just something to keep in mind as we start to end the work week. Otherwise, future cast here showing a few clouds going into mid morning tomorrow morning. Those start to clear out, leaving us with mostly clear skies for the afternoon. That's going to allow those temperatures to warm up pretty quickly as well, but Finally, it looks like we're going to have a break from that rain. It is going to be on the brief side. We'll touch on that a little bit more here in just a minute. But as I mentioned before, with that sun, temperatures are going to warm up very quickly. We'll be in the upper 80s to low 90s for those afternoon highs tomorrow. So our heat risk map showing minor to moderate heat risk. And that moderate heat risk kind of showing that a combination of those warmer air temperatures, the humidity, those higher feels like temperatures will have an impact on groups that are sensitive to the heat. So the elderly um, and other sensitive groups to the heat as well. That trend kind of continues into Saturday. Some areas there saying that that moderate heat impact. But by the time we get to Sunday, we slowly start to see that heat risk start to dwindle. It'll dwindle a little bit more going into the beginning of next work week. You can see here why we had that moderate heat impact going into the weekend. Those feels like temperatures approaching 100 degrees potentially. And then by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday, we start to see those air temperatures and heat index values start to drop a little bit more as our next weather maker approaches. So high pressure dominates the weather pattern going into Friday and the weekend. That's why it's going to be warm and that's why we'll see those pleasant conditions. But as we go into the start of the work week, we see that area of low pressure start to move a little bit closer. That'll bring us those rain chances overnight tonight, though, pretty average night, upper 60s, low 70s across the board for those overnight lows. Highs tomorrow also looking pretty average as we see those temperatures return to the low 90s. Here's a look at your first alert seven day forecast. And once again, we are going to be pretty toasty for the next few days. Air temperatures in the low to mid 90s. And once again, even though those air temperatures are in the low 90s, those feels like temperatures will be approaching the triple digits. Then we get a brief break from that warmer weather at the beginning of next week. Those highs will be in the mid 80s. Rain chances also on the rise. But by the middle of next week, we're going to start drying out and see those temperatures return to the low 90s. So clear skies for most of the weekend, but next week looks like more rain. It does. And you know, we've been dealing with that rain. What was your favorite thing to do when you were rained out the past few days? I guess um, watching TV. <laughs> I got to catch up on a few TV shows myself. Yeah, there, there's lots of uh, shows and news that I watch and keep busy. Absolutely. All right, thank you for that.